Welcome to CoreCoin today for May 6, 2019. This is the show where I give you a quick look at some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting right now. If you want to learn more about these stories in the show notes down below, I'll put a link to each story so you can read about them for yourself. Come with your own opinions. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, hey, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy what we're doing here and hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV, still watch the shows you want to watch. Well, before we get into the news today, we are doing another giveaway over at corecarsnews.com. This includes a Roku Ultra, a $100 Netflix gift card, and a $100 Hulu gift card that you can enter to win. We have all kinds of different ways to enter, like following us on Twitter, tweeting a message, leaving a comment, subscribing to our newsletters, and more. The, each one you do gives you one entry. The more you do, the more chances you have to enter. But you don't have to do all of them to enter the giveaway. Link in the show notes down below if you want to enter for a chance to win a Roku Ultra, a $100 Netflix gift card, and a $100 Hulu gift card. So check that out. Well, the weekend has just ended. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. There's been a ton of deals though that launched over the weekend. So I wanna dive into those real quick, give you the full breakdown of all the big deals happening right now. And always, don't forget, we're at corecarsnews.com. We have a deals tab. You can go there and check out all the current deals happening in the world of CoreCon. All right, right off the bat, Stars is on sale for $5 a month for the first three months. Uh, this is a pretty great deal. Stars has a lot of good content out, th out there, including original content. Right now, for just five bucks, you can get um, five bucks a month for the first three months. You can get Stars. If you're looking for a very cheap 4K streaming player, um, Roku is having a Mother's Day sale right now with the Roku Premiere on sale for $29.99. This is their budget 4K streaming player. It's not a bad streaming player, honestly. If you do have the money though, you wanna get mom something a little nicer, get the Roku Stick Plus for a good 4K HDR player. But if you want a budget one for maybe a second TV you don't use a lot in your house, the Premiere, the new one with 4K, it's a really good option at $29.99. Honestly, for the price, you can't beat it. Also, if you're watching this on Monday, if you're watching this when it goes live, the day of, Monday, May 6th, today is the last day to enter or to subscribe to PlayStation View to get their core plan for the first, uh, I believe, two months for just $29, or excuse me, $39.99 a month. So yes, PlayStation View's core plan sale ends today. And I believe if you're on the entry level PlayStation View package, you can upgrade and get this one as a current member, but it's on sale two months, $39.99. This is a really good deal for the number of channels you get. Typically it would be $49.99 a month, so it's $10 off. Really great seal, sale on that. Again, the sale ends today, so don't wait if you wanna get that one. And all these sales could end at any time. You know, sometimes they give you an advertised date, sometimes that ends early still, so don't wait. Links to all them in the show notes. All right, news, XFL. Some people have been asking about this for a while. There had been rumors that Fox was gonna partner with the XFL. That turns out to be true, but half the story. The good news is the XFL will be fairly core cutting friendly when it launches next year. The XFL is a American football league aiming to take on the NFL with a spring league. I know we hit the AAF, which actually had pretty decent ratings, pretty decent success, fell victim to the lack of funds from the owners, failed to have enough funds locked up um, at the start. Well, the XFL today um, announced we're launching next spring in 2020 that all their games will air on ESPN, ABC, and Fox, with a vast majority of them airing on ABC and Fox over the air. ESPN and FS1 will have a, some games, but a majority of them will be free over there. This is great news for core cutters because this means that you won't need a expensive streaming package to get a lot of these. Um, with, uh, and if you do want all of them, you can get a very easy access streaming package on it. The AAF was fairly friendly. CBS Sports Network and the NFL on network are fairly core cutting friendly, but not perfect. This will be a whole lot more core cutting friendly than the AAF was. So good news. Any football fans out there excited about the return of the XFL? Anybody remember the original XFL? Any fans here? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. But good news um, for that. If you want to see the full schedule of what games will be on ABC, Fox, FS1, and ESPN, this, our story below has a full breakdown of it. So check that out.
Next up, T-Mobile TV. Yes, T-Mobile TV is still a thing. They still say that's coming. But the head of it has left the company, um, and now there's a new head of T-Mobile TV. T-Mobile purchased Layer 3 TV back when they announced their TV service lot, um, uh, last year. Now, this is more of a traditional cable-esque like TV service with Layer 3. Well, the head of Layer 3 became the head of T-Mobile TV's department. At the start of this month, he left T-Mobile and was replaced. Um, so, and there's now a new general manager. Now, it sounds like this may be temporary. It'll be interesting to see the new head of their T-Mobile TV's permanent or if they're doing a hunt. But T-Mobile TV's streaming version was supposed to launch last year. It was delayed. There's been some talk what it will really look like. Is T-Mobile really able to get these deals? There's been discussion and turmoil. T-Mobile is still saying that they intend to launch a quote, disruptive TV service sometime this year. It's really aimed, it sounds like, to complement their 5G. Hey, get your 5G home internet, 5G phone internet, and your TV from T-Mobile. T-Mobile even wants to be your bank now, where they'll allow you to have a bank account through T-Mobile Manage It there. So it really seems like T-Mobile wants to be your total stop for everything. And now, though, there's a new head of it. What does this mean for the future of T-Mobile TV? We unfortunately just don't know. We'll have to keep a close eye on this because there's a lot happening in the world of TV right now that could really sh um, shake this up. So keep a close eye on this as um, T-Mobile has an option here. They are known for, or has a history here of being disruptive in whatever they enter. They're disruptive in the phone markets. They're disruptive in the whole internet market that they're trying to get in. And they say they wanna be disruptive in TV. So we'll keep a close eye on this. Fingers crossed they are. Fingers crossed they have some success. We'll have to wait and see. Competition's good. Even if you don't get T-Mobile's TV, it would be good for them to enter and put some pressure on organizations that are currently there. So we'll wait and see what happens. A few other stories here to check out. Um, if you have a Roku TV with that little pop-up that pops up at the bottom when you're watching over, over their TV that suggests more ways to watch a show that you're watching right now for free, we have a guide over at Core Cards News on how to disable that. And we have some news about um, the Justice uh, Network and the Quest Network, the two over there networks, uh, free. They say 80-some percent of the United States with an antenna were just sold to Tinga. So some of your local channels may have a new owner. Quest is actually not bad, very similar to the History Channel with a lot of the content they've brought on there on the Justice Network, um, facing some headwings with Court TV launching this week. So keep an eye out for that. But we'll have full news of both stories over at courtcardsnews.com, so check it out. And I'll be back tomorrow with more news, tips, tricks, and how-tos all about the world of cord cutting. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that thumbs up, and I hope you all have a great day. Check back tomorrow where we'll have a lot more news. Take care, everybody.